22 to 20, the scoreline at the end of that. An extra 12 rounds of play. And now it's off to Complexity's turf. Mouse Sports, they've questioned the Juggernauts' unbeaten spree to the playoffs. Complexity, they've got the red carpet laid out for them. Myself, Pansy, and Sponge are here to tell the story. But Complexity are in a position where if they were to pick up this win today, they are locked for the playoffs of Pro League very much ahead of schedule. Mouse Sports can stop that. And off to the pistol. We do see utility deployed towards BMAS's location, the newest edition of Mouse Sports. And now tucking back away. This is the flash for the re-aggress. Oh, there's so many targets. It's overwhelming. It's way too much. Carrigan's overwhelmed as well. And this one looking like it might peter out, fizzle out. Frozen's playing a very dangerous game. Trigger discipline onto config. Lauren, is he going to? Oh. He could. Frozen. I'm surprised he's not going for a knife kill Frozen. here. Love the hundred bucks. Play, but yeah, I wish he'd have gone for it. That would have been beautiful for the oh. money. But apparently, the shots are coming in just as well. And maybe it's not over yet. Okay, Oboe's controlled CT. Maybe. Chris J coming in through connector. There's still a little bit of room on this. Chris J has to be quick, though. There is a kit down somewhere. I think it's towards CT. And I don't think they've got time to go get it and get back. But they've made oh. it look good as Playmath should shut this down as he does. Complexity do pick up the first, but there was a glimmer there. There was. There definitely was. There were some nice shots from Frozen coming out of spawn. Found himself in the right place at the right time. Unable to convert any more, though, as it will just be the four frags for Mouse Sports Blame F winning the one on two, doing what the big man does best. And as we look forward into round number two, we will see the upgrades coming on through. Chris J with that devilish scout of his. Some smoke, some pistols being upgraded in here. So it will be not the full investment as Rops, Chris J, Frozen, and Carrigan have all got a little bit left over. Umas has actually gone for everything besides $50 redos. And towards middle, complexity will go. They need to be careful. There we go. So Poison's removed any pressure that could have been applied from Carrigan over the smoke. And mm. Carrigan's, uh, sorry, Chris J's answered right back. He must could have some fun in. Tag on rush. Rops found config. Okay, these, these deagles are getting a little spicy. And they are going to continue their way towards B, and it will be Frozen who's kind of posted up, gets spotted. They know where he is now, but he's on the site. Chris J's there in support. Can he catch the cross? I think he will be able to in time. Misses the shot, though. Certainly the chance is not looking so likely, but Chris J's still holding on to this. This is a 3v2. This is getting awkward. Bomb's loose. Smokes him off. A bomb retrieval. That's all that Chris J's spamming. If you're wondering what his objective was, it was to try and slow with that. Bomb recovery. Now you can hear digits punched by Rush. Smooth moves. Chris J with the upgrade. Everything's looking quite nice. BMS going to pick up the scout. Flame F though. Shut down the last round. Not going to do it again this time. Chris J wants this. And Rush just has to try and play the time, but it's easier said than done with the three players pouring your way. One goes down. There's the trade Got for it. drops. All the way around. But nice work from Mouseports. Chris J pivotal to that. Wow. Okay. Well, big round from Mouseports to steal away here. Complexity should bounce back with the four spy of their own based off of that plant. We might have a brawl to kick off this game. The four spy wars could be on the cards. Oh, sign me up. This was the opening there from Chris J just over the top of the smoke there under poison. Rops was able to find one. So there was kills going down all over the map. And Chris J was the real key coming up catwalk there with that glill in hand and stealing one away we should do, do we want to just start building the narrative of you know the mouse sports the honeymoon period the b mass the youngster they're able to topple complexity undefeated or should we just wait a little bit i mean i already did i did that was what the first thing i said when we started okay he's not paying attention is he that's all right it's like this is really exciting mouse sports have come in and complexity's unbeaten spree could be questioned here by the plucky underdogs that are the mouse sports squad I actually really liked what Carrigan said when he mentioned that they're trying to find their identity. When you see the amount of kind of power that they have, the potential that's there, obviously this is a clean up, so don't worry about it. Um, I think, I, I, I'm glad they're not trying to rush it or just try and stick to the old maybe structures or maybe the old mold that they may have, may have had before, but they're willing to try things out, try and find comfort for these players. And honestly, you can see the potential there. So it feels like the right choice by Carrigan. And it's good to see it kind of proving here, even if it is an extremely close game on Nuke. That could, that could have technically gone either way. I mean, a couple of clutches here and there and a different result, but they look diligent. Well, one of the things we noted with Mouse Sports when they were in Struggle Street was Carrigan was having to do almost all of the entry work almost single-handedly. And now that they think of BMAS in the mix, uh, that seems to be quite a clear change in that regard. So there is a different approach. And we are seeing it as... Here you go, Carrigan on the AWP. 
even gets the leg shot onto Config. So good start to round number four from Maus. The nade could be good. And it is. So Christian Carrigan converting onto Config. Another opening for Maus. It's gorgeous. Poison now feeling a little more alone than ever. Blame isn't too far away, but that AWP in the hands of Carrigan is keeping people to attention towards middle. Blame going to try and clear through, look towards ladder, ensure no one's around. And they have garnered mid control, but they're falling away from it. You've got the two players heading right back around spawn over towards A. And while all this happened, Rush was still posted up towards the apartments, not really moving too much, just chilling out, taking his time, keeping map control, and BMAS is going to be the one to keep him Tumbled down, but Molly to hand. It looks like they're setting up the play to go. Smoke's coming in, and the pressure starts to mount. So do the frags. It's the first for Bemis. Smoke to survive, and he's going to get sprayed down if he's not too careful, but the flashes keep him safe and sound. 45 seconds as oh. Bemis finds his second on the hunt from Oboe. Does manage to trade out Carrigan's death. Poison and blame left. Oh, oh. great shot. Wow. That was instantaneous reactions from Bemis. And it does give Mouse Sports their third straight in conversion on the A hit. And look what it's done to poor old complexity down to the pits of squalor. It will be Desert Eagles across the board at the top end. This was BMAS's contributions. And this third shot, I want to see if he's pre-firing or if it's just... Three bullets. Yeah, so three. Jeez. I don't know. I didn't even know. I mean, it must be... It looked like he was... Uh, he was pre-firing before he's, he's had, caught a glimpse, a whisper. Just timings internal. Well, that's good stuff. They're able to deal with the complexity by, and it's forced them back down to just the pistols here. So this is really good for Mouse Sports on what used to be going back to when Sunny and Steeko and all those boys were on the mm. team, their absolute home map. That's a very different looking roster from those days. I was going to say, it did feel almost synonymous with this Mouse Sports. It was. In my head, it clicked at the very start. I was like, oh, I remember this Chris J flying around the place, all of this. But yeah, I'm, um, I'm looking forward to what the new look kind of comes in as. I mean, the CT side's fine. I like the T side from them, though. I think that's where you get to see that personality really come through. Well, Mouse Sports, if they can deal with this one relatively cleanly, then they're looking good. Moving into round number six, can start building a little bit of a bank. And it's great to have more young, budding riflers like BMAS in this squad. It means that they can have another anchor, just a man to lock down a site, and allows ROPS to be more mobile, find more impact as a star fragger. Flash over the top, and here he is again. BMAS just gets one. But Carrigan's here to mop things up. And Rob's is too. Dame was waiting for him, and that should perhaps facilitate a plant. They're even boosting one up. Oh, and that's magnificent, Flame F. Triple kill, but I'm afraid that's where it ends. A quick double from Chris J on the way back in. Using the silenced M4, I wonder which member of Mouse is the one that's actually equipping that. Might be Carrigan, if I had to hazard a guess. We will be seeing Diffuse come in, the double from Chris. And with Carrigan playing more of an AWP role, likely he is the one that can take the uh, the odd M4 for drops and himself. AWP will be returned to his hands and you get to see how Blame got them back into the potential for a plan. Look at this positioning, lovely stuff. One and two. <laughs> Something about Chris J in that box, you know? Mm -hmm. He's uh, got a couple of clips from that. But we are back on the Bialy's poison gonna be up on the AWP this time. So that's another another shot in for complexity. So far, extremely good signs from our sports, but times can change. Three lean towards B. I assume the underpass play will come through from Blame as we've seen him like to do. But for now they they, they take their time on this. Yeah, Rush throwing his default stuff, to smoke top mid. Config joins in middle to throw out his util set to make sure it looks like it could be mid control. And Mouse have no info middle. They've stacked three aggressive A. And with the three leaning A uh, towards B, sorry for Mouse complexity, there is a bit of a mismatch here. Carrigan's the one that can shift the odds back in his favor. And a hard shot to hit. He's considering his options. He knows his potential for a hit. Flash is good. He's holding on to his smoke. He doesn't want to overcommit to this. And now, now he throws it out. So at least he as well as we can count Carrigan out for the next fight. It's crazy that Carrigan's orb dissuaded complexity. Because if it was like, I don't know, Woxic's orb, yeah, then maybe I would reconsider going B. But knowing it's Carrigan, no disrespect, he's just not the same level of fast trigger orb. It has forced them back towards A where this stack is lying in wait. The rotation from Rops is in limbo, but he will get there in time as he hears the utility. Chris Molly so goes much. out. This is going to buy time. It isolates the play coming in through Palace. Smoke goes in. Dark stays relevant. Chris J can still operate and it leaves 
frozen in the shadows. So Christian will take this fight. He'll give the game away slightly, but it's all intended purpose is to play in Frozen and beam us. This could be juicy as hell. Look at that. Oh, the trap. <laughs> was made and it just works so perfectly. Yeah, you could see Frozen just conniving as he stared at the floor that that smoke went down. Licking his lips. Yeah, licking his lips. You know they've said dark dead and he just arrives out the edge of that smoke. Oh, Glorious yeah. play from Mouseports. I want to see blame. Oh, we don't get to see it. Probably because he broke the webcam. <laughs> Straight jabbed it off he the was, jet. He was just so much disbelief that there's four of them. Oh, that was him night. frozen. Like, wait, they stacked. Oh my God. Yeah, PTSD echoing through from round six. Six. So no plant. But still the buy. And this wants to be an A piece again, hoping there's no stack. It will just be Beamus. He's going to have pressure. Oh, this is quick. This is kind of ahead of utility and plays really nicely for an all. Happy with that. Beamus will go down, though. Unable to be too sustainable when they're being so volatile in play. It's a very curious piece from the tease. There's not much more to it. They do have step towards A, bit of util to put in, so maybe they can cross, but... Harrigan can be forced to make a choice now. Oh, they're so up close and personal to this smoke. Confix found one, tickled up Carrigan as well. Three on three. Kits for all, Util two. Frozen catching Config, that's going to be their go sign. Blame, oh, just as he starts to move, Chris J gets the timing. Poison quiet so far here on Mirage with the AK. And half health, not going to be easy. Evades the flash nicely. Caught a glimpse of Carrigan, likely the same back to him. And quick headshots, but there's the trade. And wow, so Mouseport, CT side Mirage definitely seems to be within their wheelhouse. Wow, okay, I did not expect this today. No. We were in the car and I was telling you guys, all right guys, you know, these are the keys that I'm thinking about today. Yep, it should be yep. a 2-0, the map pool's looking very good. I think that maybe complexity should punish with a vertigo pick. Mirage really caught me off guard. I, I'm not quite sure why. There's only one map played for Mouse Sports in official record. It's a dancing teddy bear at the top there. <laughs> it, I, I'm sorry, it sounded like you said dancing teddy bear there. I, I did. Uh, I wasn't looking at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, moving and shaking. Yeah, something moves. cruel. So this is uh, six on the trot right now for Mouse Sports. Christian, 158 ADR. He kicked things off on the second round with that scout. Frozen looking good as well. BMAS just under that 98 mark been great on A as well. He's been ever present, super annoying to play against. Yeah, I, I think the Mirage pick does stand out to me when Complexity have a nice map pool to lean on, I feel, right? Like they have a decent map pool to play into. I, I don't know if Mirage, you know, the any man's map is, is one to go to. Every time they thought that they could punish or they thought it was a weakness or a way to exploit or just a map they're comfortable on because Complexity coming into this were the heavy favorites, but yeah. now they're making a match of this. They're making a real game and so's Rob specifically, charging into middle, making short work of poison, Bemis. He's safe and sound, at least to, with his concerns for Palace. We prepare ourselves for war, folks. It's a four on four. Mousepot seems so attentive and, and uh, responsive at the moment on the CT side. It seems like just as we see complexity start to relocate, so do the CTs. There's, there's no catching up. It seems that Carrigan definitely has a good dialogue with his squad as to the intentions of their opponent. Go on. <laughs> wow. This isn't your Wonderland, Chris, but it could feel damn good timing on Rush. He gets behind him, doesn't wait for it, takes the shot while he can. 58 seconds, the double dip's coming in, Oboe's there. Both players are there, and that's going to be the bomb surely spotted. Rops knows what's up now, but what do they do with this? These two T players have no territory. Oof, okay, well, with the time on the clock, looks like they want to rotate back towards top middle to find another duel. This could open up avenues to either side of the map, depending on where they find resistance or a frag. Smoke towards connector, that's indicative of, of at least somebody on the other side. And they might want to use that to their advantage. Creeping up close will be Oboe and Blame F playing in the smoke, waiting for it to fade. It looks like it will be an A finish, but BMS under the balcony in the dark position will be very difficult to clear with Rops in this jungle position. You're right. Rops has the advantage of just having to wait for that sound cue. Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay, a clean execution. Poor old Blame's the last one on the chopping block, but Mouse Sports, they are riding some serious momentum and complexity. They're going to have to keep up. Getting a bit out of breath, 3.5, it's a bit gross, might be the armor. Oh, and Ghiblis, good shot. And Chris J, yeah, you, you got excited about this at the right moment. That was Rush hoping to find and make some space, but look at the shots from Aww. Rob's. Could have been clean. 
So this is where we should see Complexity go for a partial buy with Utility. Oh, the frustration for Complexity here. You can see it starting to mount. So the nades, you can see Hero AK on Blame. He's actually invested heavily. He needs to find an opening. Oh, but you're right. He is trying to be the hero. And oh, no. Now zero. HP remains. Charging into B, Frozen tucking in. He knows they're going to be dropping in close quarters. It's Deagles, it's Tech Nines, it's Sketchy. It's good shots from Carrigan as well. Double trouble. Frozen finally gets out of dodge. And it's Config trying to do serious damage. He does well to take a couple of kills, make it costly, but falls flat. Blame Hero AK falls completely absent. Wow. He took a lot of responsibility on himself right there to find some opening picks over towards middle, and now he's just down towards the MAC-10. Having a look at his spawn, it is over towards that B side of things. But there's no solutions at the moment, as eight rounds are posted on the board, which seems like it's just been easy street for Mouse Sports. They've made the right reads, the right calls, haven't complicated their approach. Blame's actually going over towards middle right now. Okay, with intent. Not quite. I really do want to keep my eyes on Chris oh. J. He's been having a half. Oboe, almost down to half. As he continues to press forward. Does have Blame F not too far away, but that's not his intention to go that way right now. But I'm still top of mid and I'm looking at Chris J. Big ADR on the board, obviously helped out with that really good early start, but it's not really slowed down for him either. Hobo now. Still trying to look towards B. Garrigan seems all too aware of the possibility as Frozen can be called to stay attentive to this. Chris J actually falling away towards this side, which has opened up for him towards middle. Suddenly things look a little bit more dicey this time. Let's see where that bomb heads. It's oh, I love this. still going to take a second or two. Chris J is going to be posted up. He is positioned unnoted, similar to that dark spot we saw before over towards A, but the bomb's oh, still being held. And Obo burning alive somewhat. He has had a rough time getting just here. Oh, Frozen knows. He does. He's already taken him down even lower. Frozen, very good round from him. Chris J boosted up, finally arrives. This is some different mouse. Some super mouse bitten by a radioactive spider or something. I really just like that mid-round decision. Once they realize it could have been the B split or the B hit coming in, boost Chris J up, leave someone in the back line ready to convert. Really good. Were Pinky and the brain mice or were they rats? Oh. Must have been uh, rats, like lab rats. Yeah, I think that was that their makes trope. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. I had to assume. Pinky and the brain, 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 brain. brain, brain. brain. <laughs> was it, what are we doing today? Or what, what was his little... Mighty Mouse. What was his catchphrase? What? No, we'd ask him, what are we, was like, was it, what are we doing this week? Or what are we doing today? And it's like... Taking take, over the world. Yeah. Taking yeah. over the world, Pinky or brain. I don't know, I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, I uh, clearly didn't watch it as much as I thought I did, but I vaguely remember, yeah, I remember Mighty Mouse though. What a time. Mighty Mouse? Yeah. I remember Banana Man. Banana Man. Chris J has 17 kills and we're only 10 oh, rounds into this game. He's having a banger of a map right now. Mouse Sports, if they continue with this pace, it might be a quick finish for the day. I can't believe it, honestly. <laughs> but I will start to uh, remind everyone of what complexity are capable of also, that this is their map pick. So with all of those dots starting to align, it is Mouse Sports that are causing a ruckus. Eagles and a couple of flashbangs. Shouldn't get them far considering how well drilled we've seen from Mouse. They're actually going to boost into Rops' aim. Hi. <laughs> Perfect. Benny can get away. Absolutely no concerns. He even knows there's another under the window, so he's underhand a nade into Wobo, and Config catches 60 damage from it. Oh, this is flawless, yeah. Yeah, why did I sound like I went on my gap, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I had on my gap, yeah, with my friends, and we just had all the champagne everywhere. Oh, chundered oh, I chundered that. such chunks. It was everywhere. I really used to love that video. Yeah, it was funny. Strange how close it is to our lives now. Isn't it? You know. Um, Chad, did you yeah. have much of that? You know, no, we didn't have year? a lot of that. No, well, we did have gap years. Um, I didn't. Did you go travel? No, you know, I didn't. I was world. playing Counter-Strike. Help some, help some poverty. CGS. So, they were CGS. poverty struck on. You know, so povo. Oh, CGS my was my gap on. year. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I was making some crazy sales, yeah. And uh, well, me and the guys, we were just like, let's just have a, let's get sloshed. Let's just get totally I've sloshed. I've got my new signet ring, so. Yeah, oh, we're going to be putting them together. We're like the Illuminati. <laughs> Wow, you uh, guys had some childhoods, huh? No, I'm just uh, getting a bit creative. Just, creative licensing at an all-time high here. It's 10 to 1. Yeah, it's 10 to 1. I'm a little being bit of fun. A little kooky. No, Lauren, it's bloody 10 past 4. I uh, get it, Chad. You referenced the time there. <laughs> I got it. That was... Oh, that's that's what given. the numbers could have meant. I can, that is what the numbers yeah, could have meant. I can get in on, the, I can get in on the jokes, too. Yes. Oh, just don't get in on the hosting again, Chad, because yeah. it didn't go so well. Yeah, anyway, we no, I tell you what, when Chad tries to host, that's yeah. chank. Chank, that's Chank, Chank, Chank trying to host. That's his, his hosting persona. <laughs> well, it's really slowed down here in round number 12. As Jesus Christ, Chank. Do I play now? <laughs> <laughs> Stepping on toes and poison, breaking them, arrogant, <laughs> crippled. Yeah. And we do see the round starting to get into the meat and the potatoes. Oboe's got them both on B. That's going to change the plans immediately. And that's the round, I'm afraid. I really don't want to... Get you too excited for nothing, but I'm afraid, yeah, Rops and Bemis are on the A site. Rush's Lurk may not last long. The cool thing with Rush's Lurk is he doesn't actually have to move. They probably want to go over towards Palace to save, and we can see exactly that with Bemis going up the ladder. Hello! And Rush will take him down. So there won't be any weapons going on through unless Rops can hide in plain sight. Shouldn't be too many dramas for the remainder of the complexity. Players all over towards the B site already chasing. You can see two of them at Catwalk, two of them in the B apartments area. And it looks like Rops will be going back to where Rops was lying. Uh, Rush was lying. Rush, are you lying to us? Hello? <laughs> Did you say my name? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. What's up? How's it going in there? Yeah, it's all right. It's chill. Just chill? Yeah. yeah. He's been a bit short with us today. Did you, you, upset, did you upset, upset him, Chad? No. No one's upset me. I'm Did you win your great. Danger Zone games last night, Rush? We didn't play any, sadly. Uh, yeah. I see. I found the wound. I see. Well, we played on Sunday, right, Rush? Yeah, but you know uh, Rush yeah. needs it daily. Yeah, but I can't, I, I, can't, I can't give it to him daily, Alex. I'm a bit old for that now. <laughs> Realize the words makes, that come out of my mouth. Takes me a while to get going, so yeah, I need, I need a, a, a couple days break. Chad, you I... had the nail. You hit it on the head. You don't, you're good. You're good. It's all good. It's all gravy. It's really about video games. Okay, we need a day. couple more for complexity to make this competitive. If they close out all the last rounds, hey, we'll... we'll, we'll I'd say pay attention, but Rops just nuked Poison. So not so sure about that. That's uh, a quick advantage to be had. So Complexity again. Obviously clutching at straws here. This isn't the complexity that we um, have been kind of enamored by. We, we've thoroughly enjoyed the Blame F process. We've loved what this roster could look like at its height. We have seen a couple of issues here and there creep in, but they hadn't lost a series. These guys have looked uh, flawless. And what a curious one to lose that flawless streak to would be Mouse Sports, a team obviously on the rebuild. So... You know, bated breath. If there's depth to complexity, we'll certainly kind of paint you that picture once it comes in. But right now, this is a celebration of mouse sports looking very damn good. As Config, Keyside Orping, looking to find a bit of a difference. Oh. Good tag towards Beamus. He won't know that he hit that, though. Yeah. So that information... Unconfirmed damage. Uh, unconfirmed damage mm. is the term I think like we're running that. with for that one. Yep. It looks like it still will be the A finish. This is a connector smoke coming on out from that A ramp. Pressure is going to be applied to Rops, who's... I'm close in person. We'll have to deal with Rush first, and late through the connector will be Oboe, so his flank could be everything. Oh my god, that's one. one. I can't believe he did. Quick adjustment into config, and it's quite the scalp to take as well. Look, you keep, you keep config quiet, you keep complexity a little less threatening. He's got five frags so far. Carrigan's getting smoke shots, it seems. It's a bomb. This one's gone oh my God. to nothing but a fizzle. Good shot from Rush. Dunked on. Carrigan, another smoke shot. He's having a round. He's having a game. That was wild. Carrigan completely denied any post plan availability there from Complexity by getting that shot from Catwalk through the smoke. And that was all she wrote. Right now, 11 to 2. If this is a 13 2 scoreline, that's going to be exactly that. Here you go. There's the shot. Blame F denied. Second on to Wobo and yeah, okay. <laughs> Those are, what do you want us to say? There's not a lot you can say about that one. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, we can try and quantify this more, I'm sure, but 11 to 2, I think it's just kind of almost sit back and enjoy what hopefully we see Mouse Sports try and make a regular occurrence. Rops, though. Last time dropped the nuke towards Poison. This time going to take the battle towards Rush. Rush ever present, but still delivers. 
Carrigan keeping control for now, not letting that play build through middle. Look at Frozen go as well. He just pushed through his own smoke. He's going to keep going as well. This is absolutely wild. If they flank around to the A site, Frozen's going to be there in really, really good time. And uh, he's pivoting mid. That is going to cut his rotation time down, but it is going to mean he has to deal with the Blame F lurk. Maybe that's actually a good thing, perhaps. Dealing with Blame F, not letting him have those freedoms. Harrigan also potentially to be responsible for the death. Rush, considering the AWP peak. Running out of time now. Now Blame F at the prong has gone. Config from Ratiu Tetris. The flashes are good, but the frag isn't there. Bemus. Suppressing fire, there's still time. They don't have to rush this from complexity, but now they do, they fight. And it's a one for none. Rush has made it two. What a nade. Good nade, dunks on one, Chris J there, the backup. Oh, hold it together. Frozen, just cool, calm, collected. So what happened there? You see Config didn't tuck his knees in. That's why the backflip didn't land. Uh, ah. He didn't have his, he didn't bring his center of mass sure. in. Okay. Uh, so if we'll see that again, I'm sure Config's backflip, a uh, bit of a flop. It was frozen, I believe, that he was uh, trying to do it off. Yeah, you see that? Just not, see. not enough tuck of the knees. You need the centrifugal force, right? The, the, the centrifugal? Centrifugal. I've always called it centrifugal. Have I been saying it wrong centrifugal. this whole Centrifugal I force? I thought it was centrifugal force. I mean, when like, you've got a bucket and you spin it over your head yeah. and it doesn't fall out. I yeah. thought that was centrifugal. There's centrifugal <laughs> and, and centripetal. Well, okay. I don't know what you were saying. Y'all, Chad was wrong, that's for sure. That's all I care about. <laughs> Rush has got a frag, though. <laughs> you must. Gone, rush, planting, config, hunting, tag, down to the... Oh, he can burn! Hey, Molly. He's getting awkward now, 25 seconds. That's not seconds, Alex, that's health. That's what I was trying to say. Let's get their frag onto Rops all the same. Bomb down, ticking, favoring complexity in a very big way here. They've got orbs, it's not pretty. Double orb retake, no smoke other than Chris J. He wants to get that on the bomb, and already they've lost their strongest man. This one's done. And so is the half, but I don't really think Chris J is going to be too upset about this one. He'll get a couple of style points, get a couple of freebies. Or not. I mean, that's also an option. 12-3 is still a phenomenal half. And now Mouse Sports, should they win this pistol? They could take the series in two. Infinity sideways, we already ate. Skipping this basic, skipping this class, and stay out of trouble. Now I can relate. Nevertheless, I can, I'm doing great. I just finished this thing, ain't no debate. You ain't my dog, you, can, you ain't my family, and sure as hell, you can, you're not my mate. Yeah, I take my place at the summit. I can't wait till we count in them hundreds. I cannot lie, I ain't rich yet, but when I see my time coming, it's coming. And some of y'all got ahead of me, to be honest, I wasn't even running. But very soon, I'm gonna run it. I demand it, man, I want it. Push start, ayy. Ball so hard, ayy. Raise the bar, ayy. Turn into a star, ayy. Play my part, yeah. 
aim too far. I do it big. I keep it large, okay. Live it up. Cause it's fake, better give it up. Young, but I feel like I've seen enough. Demo's going up, better keep it up. It's going down, better live it up. About too hard, ayy. What? About too hard, ayy. What? About too hard, ayy. Hey, they not gon' like this. Don't like surprises. I cause a crisis. Man, I'm a scientist. With the music, I spice things. Up to my liking. Man, I want nice things, nice things. That's not an AK, it's a newsy. I pull up and shoot it to move. I'm chasing the bag, not a coochie. Cut with the fake, now it's Gucci. Word of my niggas from the 021. You count six shots. Twelve to three. Things sound as good as macaroni in a pot for mouse. They are so close. Four rounds is all they need. And excitement palpable. You can almost taste it. Chad Birchall certainly can't. Excuse me, sir. Is this where we throw to a break? Not yet. Okay. Shank. All right. Come on. We've all talked right. about this. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we threw to a break now. <laughs> close. Oh, close. Gigi dot bet. I haven't mentioned them yet. Uh, so just so you know, mouse sports are favoured here at twelve three on the half with a one map advantage. In case you were concerned. How odds work, I think. I think so. Whoa! Oh my lord. Okay, Ropsy Boy. Poison has ruined the party. It's one way to probably ruin a party, wouldn't it be? Well, I mean, bringing a gun to a party is never a good idea. Yeah, don't do that, guys. Leave the knives at home, too. See if you think about bringing a taser. But we've got that cool home. little karambit in our living room. We do, but that's in case we get robbed. I thought it was there for show, show but probably. yes. <laughs> yes, Chad, our, 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 we are similar people. I agree. <laughs> I have one at mine. I like yeah. it. Oh, like I've got a karambit in case we get robbed. Dude, I would do more harm than good with that Why thing. Are you in East London suddenly? Um, oh. been a lot of accents today. It has. has I've been very... very Your Australian uh, today has been great. You actually was it was much better than normally it's South African. Those so damn prawns. <laughs> All right. Well, Config is flattened Carrigan and onto the B-bomb site we go. That was a District 9 reference, and this one's over. So Chris J with his bomb, he is going to make a lot of noise, break oh, his legs. Yeah, he definitely had a spectacular start to this series, and he's a big part as to why the damage was done so heavily. He hasn't got that much space to work with. He's getting shot at and finished off by Rush. Rush, do you like those bunny hops? Little hops? I love bunny hops, but bunny hops uh, keep me going, that's for sure. Nice. Just wanted to know. Sounded like he was getting the question there. Didn't like him, obviously. <laughs> He's a bit mardy today. I don't know. Wait, why are you guys? Rush is normal I'm not today. Mardy, stop saying that. Why are you trying to say that he's? I just wish you'd be, you know, the old Rush, the Rush we used to. Oh. He's like happy and just like that's so always happy like go lucky. I'm literally yeah. smiling right now. Rush, I don't know. I don't know happy what's going on today. Happy people don't say they're smiling. I don't know what's yeah, going on. You just now. do it, Rush. I'm sorry that you're being targeted. Anyway, watch this grenade. <laughs> oh, kind of nice cool. Yeah, check that out. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. All right. Well, Rob's has the scout, not Chris J. And he's lost the scout. So I was going to get excited about it. There's nothing to get excited about. Well, that's because I haven't told you the story yet. Okay, no, tell me no, the story. No, 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 I'm not ready. Arrogant now. Not the 2v5 story. Oh, I, can't, okay. I can't get away The next with round that story? Maybe. Well, this is a force buy, so next yeah. round's probably Why don't you go. talk about how much you like that deagle skin, Chad? I Everyone's, really like this really deagle skin. really likes that story. It's really, really original. I really like this deagle skin. It's my favorite skin. Um, I have all the skins from the new case, literally. Not even... Not even figuratively. Just oh, literally. You, you've gone literally. out and bought them when we've got this lovely sponsor. No, I opened sponsor. the cases. Lauren, what if these multivitamins Chad's given me are making me more sassy? You they might be. You have got a sass on. They could do. I'm, and I'm not giving them to you. <laughs> that you paid for them. I mean, I paid for Chad. Chad gave the box to me. <laughs> so technically, <laughs> in my mind, they're a gift. They're a gift. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, all right. I'm just glad that I haven't been on the receiving end of Alex. I've got Taurine, Corine, Laurine, and the chlor not Chlorine. Don't, don't take don't Chlorine. Do no, there's good ignore, stuff in ignore there. Ignore the there's messaging. Good stuff in it's there. Good. There's good stuff. Um, but no, yeah, Alex is sass, all time high. It is. It's and enjoyable. He's got a flash lineup that I think I could manage here, Lauren. Oh, wait, hold on. He's going to do some. That's flawless. No, look, I don't oh, even have to have jump. To okay, stealing that. Put it in we the bag. We know we never play Mirage. Chad goes. That's true. Chad, Chad's Mirage. very anti my rage, but oh my goodness, yeah. by Bemis. He's got himself an opening and now Frozen Steagle's connecting to Complexity. Have to somehow dial this back in. It's going to be Config to contribute and a dunk oh, nade dear. from Obo. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, still a 1v1. At a minute 20. Rops can slow this down. I really, really don't oh, want Rops, Rops, Rops to hurry this up. Okay, he's calming it down for us all. Config has crossed though. That there paranoia. is a. Yeah, precisely. If I want, if I was config, I know I have access to the bomb, and Palace is such a tempting prospect. Yeah. So this works unless 
Okay, yeah. Rops has got a really, really hard job ahead of him now. Gosh. Will he anticipate someone so close? He's still got jungle and CT in his mind. Conflict's played him like a book. Magnificent save. Complexity dig themselves out of the hole, courtesy of the Quiet Dane. At least here in Mirage, he was dropping 40 over on Nuke. So Config certainly no slouch today. He's had all of the right vitamins and minerals, as have I. Thanks, Chad. This was the double kill from Beamus. Frozen's Deagle made it look very threatening as he shut down Poison, but Config just playing the uh, positioning game far too well. So it's 12 to 6. Full weapons for everyone. Cash being built up just once for Config, but that was in his survival. Chris J's uh, a very weird dot. Might be the boosty one. Can you do it on your own? I thought you had to boost to get the molly triple. Let's see where that goes, Rushley. Okay, it is for default. And oh, Rush, Rush, Rush is taking a time to get that out. Poison's already hit his shot. Oh, There's the triple molly. So this is a mollies. big, heavy A hit. And you can oh see how much gosh. damage both of them have gone well under half. Rush is in the smoke. He's still fragging, though. And this is big from the American. Poor old Rops. Down to just four. He won't be able to do much more. So right now, if you're Rops and you're considering the flow of this game going forward, Complexity just took a lot of casualties in the previous to the pistols. Beamus with those multiple P250 frags. We obviously had a little bit more from Frozen. But Rops with a minute left on the clock, the best thing that he can do is just see if he can find more kills. You might be thinking, oh, he should just save. Yeah, sure, the AK would be good to carry on forward, but the damage that he can do to the CT side economy, if he can find two more kills, seems very, very unlikely. But if he can, that is the best thing into this round for him. Winning it, not really in the realms of possibility right now. So if he takes his time, he has 40 seconds left. He will be able to flank around through CT spawn. The B-bomb site is open for business. Taking a quick look at the radar on your top left, you can see everybody for complexity has found themselves maneuvering over towards that A site. Trained on his position will be that of poison. You've also got looking towards jungle will be blame F. Connector will be covered off by config. And then Oboe has to deal with a ramp nice. and palace. But there you go. Confi gets the kill with the Famas, trying to make his way over for an AK. And I'm not sure if he would have gotten there in time. But this is Rush on the side, being able to defend in the flurry and fury of the smokes, Molotovs, and Flashes. Did a very good job to stall them out. And now, the comeback. Well, it's not on the cards just yet, but we're starting to get within that territory where it could be possible. We start to, you know... Yeah, it was, it was a 12-3, and, and one of the problems right now for Mouse Sports is they haven't planted the bomb, so that means they'll be back on these pistols. So with the 12-7 scoreline now, it should be 12-8. Oh, Blaine was flashed perfectly. Carrigan's pushing forward. Has he been spotted? Yes, he has. Blaine will take him down, and back to A we go. A bit of a retake setup coming in here from Complexity. Might fun, finally get that bomb on. Maybe not. Poison. More than happy to take the fight. This is a shutdown until Rob Solis gets one. Any more? No. Nice and easy. Over and done with. 12 to 8. Yeah, that scoreline, that lead, it's gone now. It's basically out the window. All the hard work that Mousebots did in the first half, it's not forgotten. They still need four rounds to get across the line and take this in 2-0 fashion, but it's going to be very, very difficult to do that now that Complexity have had a couple of cleaner rounds back to back. This is where they really can dig their heels in. I use that expression often for this exact set of circumstances. The CTs have closed the gap. They've got bank. Should they falter in one? And Blame looking to lock down middle from the window position. His spray does do significant damage. In fact, it's a perfect trade. The equilibrium maintains. Not for much longer, though, as the nade lands on Frozen's nose. Good info there. He tried the boost before. I wonder if Blaine's ready for this with a with a failed Windows. No, he does. Dink exchange. Chris gets the frag, gets the better of him. And now a four on five. Mouse sports, they have yet to plant, have yet to post around on the T side, Lauren. This is one of their best chances, and Carrigan wants to pull these strings correctly. Yeah, I, I like seeing that little bit of info play from Rush. It could be misinformation if he hears potentially Rops, maybe, but we'll see how he plays this one out. He could be great coming into this, but that mid control is the key and critical part. Keep in mind the rest of the CTs are over towards the B site. So Poison kind of holding from afar. Rush hears all this happening. They have no eyes on this, no information to be found as he's slowly working back towards this now. It's not considered. Oh, okay, Jeez, it is. He's frozen. That's a save. That's a huge kill. You can see exactly what that means. I didn't think anybody was worrying about it, but Frozen, he's fooled me. 
And he's made Rush look like a bit of a full ride there. One bullet to the dome. And exactly that complexity will have to save. Even with that little bit of residual cash that they hold in the bank balance, their loss bonus, because they've netted five rounds in a row, is only 1,400. So needing to play the percentages here. They will only be able to do this for a round or two more. Really don't want to have to be battling back against 15. So more retake attempts and some more skirmishy style CS will be on the cards as we trickle forward. Don't forget to bring up the scores right now. Chris Jays is 23 to his name, but Frozen's another big one, another big performer. What did Chris have on the half? So I swear he was in the 20s on the half or something high end. Uh, I can go back and 17 or so. Yeah. So 17 or oh, so. Okay, 20, okay. I think it was. I thought he'd already broken that mark, so that's, that's good to see. Okay. But yeah, Frozen having a good game as well. Frozen, for a while there towards the tail end with Woxic in the team, he started to taper off. You weren't seeing a lot of work coming out of him. And I said today, coming into things, Rops was the still absolute superstar. And we saw what he had to offer over there on Nuke. He's not needing to do the same. He is still 14 kills middle of the pack for Mouse Sports. But if he has a showstopper over rounds, wow, oh, complexity, that'll be in real trouble. Yeah, and looking back at Chris's recent performances, it, it's not been, you know, smooth sailing. It, it's been a little bit rough around the edges. So him back in... Maybe a good bit of form here could be a nice confidence booster going in, but still have to convert this one. So slower approach again. This is more of a default spread that we would see. Frozen down towards the underpass. Carrigan was towards back middle, setting up Chris J towards top mid. We have two over towards a ramp. That's BMAS and Rops. Lots of utility left. God, that's a tight line. If Frozen doesn't perfectly counter strafe into that tight line, he's... Almost impossible for Poison to connect it. So that's two smokes that have come out on that A ramp over towards the A side of things. Config has one left towards B and Blame, who's in limbo right now, over towards Wim Window has the other smoke. This is all going to come down to timing for Rush. Playing in the smoke. <sighs> they were ready. Obo is two, though. Takes down Rops, one of the harder hitters, and Poison with a missed shot. Gives them a little bit of room to maneuver. And that's all they need. Give them an inch. Frozen takes a mile and nearly a triple. Jumping towards CT knows that's a viable bit of space to take and to deny. Bomb still needs to be planted, though, and the nades a little early from Config. He's going for it. Oh, oh bang. He's going to hit the second shot. That's magnificent. Oh, nice. Rare to see. And now a swap of the weapons, a changing oh, of the guard. Frozen. Frozen's gone for the dankest of flanks. Config's not going to be ready for this. And that's the first. Blame F leads the trade. He does get it. There's a chance. There's a world. BMS low. He could just spray into the triple box. 29 points of health. Blames down to 14. Oh, BMS. This is, they're asking a lot of you. New addition. Clutching against Blame. One of the hottest prospects of the year. And it catches the timing. 14 found for Mouse. Are they really going to break the unbeaten spree? Oh, dear. Well, Five and a zero, Chad, in yeah. Pro League. Complexity have not dropped a single game. A map, sure. A game, no. But Mouse wants to be the first to do it. That is uh, not something I'd have expected to wake up and to be doing today. Yeah, this is uh, catching everybody surpri by surprise, I think. And, and, you know, there's always the pressure of that because if Complexity were to convert this series today, they're not out of it just yet. It's looking very unlikely at this stage. But if they were to convert, that would have been them guaranteeing themselves a spot within those playoffs. They're still looking good to do so, but Group B was the group of death. You'd hate to end the run in Pro League after starting so hotly and then get it taken away to you with a couple of bad losses. And you can see the buy that they had to limp on in with for the final... Well, their final buy, it'll be their final full buy. Next round, it will be a force buy if they lose this one. Rush has the MP9. They've actually moved him over towards that B side of things. And we spoke to Oboe the other day, They're switching those two players around as they go. Poison. Can't get it this time. Top mid garnered for the T's. Plenty of util on the T side as well. Let's see where they put all this. Going up and poison still holding towards connector, no real issues there. Smoke towards window. The bomb leaning B side. I'm interested to know how they approach this B here. I mean it will be coming from the apartments. Rush is actually getting himself up on the deep smoke. Last time he tried this at ramp, he got caught by Bemus. Now, Blame catching the short player. Rush is hoping for the element of surprise here. They're trained on his location, though. <laughs> As he starts pushing as it fades. 
It's just going to go down. Uh, config then has to do it all. M4. Frozen. First. Very Shot. clean kill. Keeping it level. And another from Config. He's definitely still such a threat here on Mirage. Fine. They haven't really got the time. They have to be planting. Why do they jump off? They can't even win the round now. They can't even win the round. Poison just has to wait. Oh, that decision making. I don't know who it was. The second one and apps just didn't quite process the information fast enough. That's a weird way to go down, Chad. Help me understand what happened there. I think it was Carrigan who was still up on the balcony. I'm not certain, but I'm not sure if they were cognizant of the time just yeah. because of the pressure that uh, Config was able to put them under there. So a lifeline for complexity. 14 to 9. Now they have an opportunity to buy back in. Rush will be on the MP9 once more, and Oboe has to consider what he's going to purchase, an MP9 for him as well. But for complexity here, if we were to live in the bleakest timeline where they do go out 2-0 today to Mouse, they still have Vitality and Phase. Oh, leg through the smoke. Is Carrigan off the bat? Not sure it's how much he quick. can get done. Look at Short. Carrigan's up. Chris J's there too, but... Oh my Shut god, Config! He's so mad. Get out of our server. I want to go to three. The words Config communicates in bullets. I mean, that's already so pushed up. Look at his angle here. Frozen. <laughs> can't do anything. Catch. Or caught, rather, by Rops. That's the one mistake I can't stop making. Catched. Why? Um, Bemis and Rops, though. Certainly not impossible against some SMGs, but Config's now managed to upgrade to an AWP and is holding that tight line we talked about before. Spots them. Both crossing. We convey that information to Obo. He now tucks in from a very passive line. He could jump up. Is that what he's considering? Yeah, he is. Oh, perfect. Oh, ooh, okay. He put his head into the Rops' crosshair, I guess. Two on four. 45 seconds now. A boost into the window. Poison should be set up for success here, but they're actually opting for a very interesting maneuver. Beamas boosts Rops. Beamas goes back to B. Somehow has to best config. He has got a flash for the job. This is exciting. Okay. And now Poison, when he rotates off, Rops can work on the flank and cut off the boat. This is exciting as hell. He's going to try and get a third rush and save the day. And now, unfortunately, Beamas, it was a two-pronged assault. He does get tagged by Poison, leaping now from the balcony. Gives him a chance to isolate one. 15 seconds, he'd need Poison now. Just a Glock. It's just not enough. It's just not enough, but he's made it work. Switches to the AWP. Beamus! Oh! You are insane! As he pulls the 15th out of absolutely nowhere. Jesus. Oh my God. That was so good. 17 seconds left to his own devices. A Glock. Oh my God. Beamus playing well ahead of his years. Tagged down to 5 HP. Oh. Oh my God. I can't even unpack that one for you. No, you don't need to. I think your silence and the absence of words speaks loudly enough. Wow. Unbelievable scenes. Oh dear. It's just That's something else. Very, very tough right now for Complexity to bound back in. Look at what buy they've been left with after that. Deagles, UMP. Total of five nades overall, two flashes, three smokes. Our sports poised to do it, not in the way I thought. Off the back of that clutch. Okay. <sighs> well, let's get underway. Round 25. Smoke towards window from Romps. Beam as the hero of last. <laughs> He's going to slow things down. Take a second. Have a, have, a, have a Kit Kat at this point. Rush trying to be proactive in this, though. And he's going to find out probably more than he'd like. Flame F there. Makes the most of it, though. Trades in well. Sees the bomb smoke goes down. And Chris J tries to control mid. Config on the other side. The man who was just fueled by anger and rage in the last round, but couldn't make more of it in the end. As that glorious clutch came out. These deagles, this UMP, it shouldn't be that viable. It shouldn't be that much of a threat. But sometimes these guys can make it look deadly, though. Carrigan going to deal with poison comfortably. Getting real awkward for complexity. This is their last round to voice any concerns or their unbeaten spree will be paused. They had the opportunity to lock themselves in for playoffs today. Mouseports are taking it from them. Carrigan taking it from them. Robs as well. It is all on to blame. And just to reflect on how we got here, they're broken by one man. Brought into the starting roster from the sixth man position and already starting to flourish. One to watch on Nico's list and now... 
They have managed to get themselves a 16 to 9 scoreline. Blame still desperately trying to change the dialogue. Doesn't have a kit. And Bemis confirms it. Who else but Bemis? 16 to 9.